All right, so we are going to look at how to properly join two electrical cables. So most often, as part of your electrical wiring, there will be the need at a point to join two cables together, either in a straight joint or in a tap joint. So quickly, we are going to look at how to effectively join electrical cables. So one thing you have to bear in mind when jointing two electrical cables is that Every joint in an electrical wiring must be mechanically and electrically sound. So every joint that is made in a cable must have proper electrical continuity and then it must also be mechanically strong. Good. Electrically sound in cable jointing means that ideally the resistance at the joint should be as low as the resistance of the main cable. And then mechanically strong means that when stress is applied to this joint, it should not easily open. It should be impossible or very difficult for the joint to separate when stress or force is applied to it. Okay, here is an example. So we have one length of cable and then another length of cable. We want to do a straight joint so that we add this cable to this one to make it continuous. Good. If you want to do a proper electrical joint, there are a few tools that you must make available. So here, I have a cable stripper. The same stripper can help me to cut the cables and then strip them. Then, some of the joints that I'm going to do in this video will also require me to peel the cable at the middle. And so I will need a knife that will help me to do that. Then, when it comes to twisting the cables properly, you will need a plier. And sometimes, it's best when you have two pliers. So, I'll be making use of these two pliers at certain points of the jointing. Okay. All right, so before I continue with some of the best ways you can do your electrical jointing, I want to give you an example and an explanation to what it means for a joint to be electrically and mechanically strong. Okay, so we have these two cables that we want to join together. And so first, we have to peel off the ends. Okay, so this is one length, and then this is another length. Now, we want to put these two together. And as I said earlier, before putting this together, you have to consider two things, electrical continuity and then mechanical strength. Good. But usually, most electricians will want to join these cables by just putting it this way and then twisting the two. Like this. Then after that, to make it very strong and electrically sound, we use the plier to twist them properly. Then, we cut off any excess. And what we usually do is that we just fold it like this, and then we are done. Well, when it comes to whether electricity will flow through this properly, yes. But the question of whether it is mechanically strong will be no. Because if I apply force to this joint, it can easily break, okay? And because it can easily break, that also tells that it is likely that in the course of using this cable, the resistance at the joint will increase. And when the resistance at the joint increases, there are a lot of disadvantages that that can cause to you. First of all, the increase in resistance will cause some amount of heat to be generated at a joint. 
This heat does a lot of harm to the consumer. First of all, that heat that will be generated at the joint there, though it's not being used for anything, will now increase your electrical energy consumption. And if the resistance at the joint continues to increase, that can also lead to fire. And you know what harm fire can cause to your property as a result of a bad joint. And so it is very important to pay attention to electrical joints whenever you are doing your electrical wiring. So in this video, we'll be looking at a few ways that you can do your electrical joints that will make it electrically sound and mechanically sound. All right, so number one, in the first example, we just put the cables together and then twisted them. And we realized that when it comes to mechanical strength, when force is applied to these two cables, they can easily separate, okay? And when that separation happens as a result of mechanical force, it means you are going to have open circuit and then electricity supply will be cut to your load. All right, so instead of doing such a joint, let's look at another way we can do this straight joint to make it more effective. Okay, so this is one length, this is another length. And here, we still have to peel off the end to expose the parts that will be, will be jointed. So, if we want to effectively join these two cables, there are several ways that we can do that. Okay, but let's start with this one. Okay.
All right, so you can use this particular method for your straight joint. Obviously, this particular method makes a better joint than the first one. Okay, so this is our first good joint. So obviously, unlike the first example, this would be too difficult for me to separate. So this makes it mechanically strong and electrically sound. All right, so now let's move to the next joint. So again, we peel off the ends. Similar to the previous one we just did. All right, so we move to the next type of joint. This is a tap joint or a T joint. And with this particular type of joint, there are several ways that you can tap into this cable. But then, I'll be showing some of the best ways that you can do this type of joint.
and then and then you just twist and then you just twist these two together and then you twist these two also together And <laughs> as much as this will be electrically sound, it may not have that quality mechanical strength. So if you apply force, okay, the two sides can easily separate, which must not be so. In all circumstances, the joint must be electrically sound as much as it should be mechanically sound. And so usually there are different types of jointing. Okay, there are a lot of ways that you can properly joint electrical cables to make them both electrically and mechanically sound. With time, I'll come your way again with other good methods that we can use to joint electrical cables. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you are new to this channel, please do well to subscribe because there are a lot of educative videos coming your way. And if you watch any video on my channel and it's useful to you, do well to share with others to also benefit. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next video.